Their food is very unique, I guess. Um, I, I, would, I would suggest to have an open mind about the food. Um, I'm one of those people that is very particular about their food. Um, but at the same token, I try everything at least once. Okay? Um, and, and if they still do, if there's a pensionista that cooks the three meals a day for the, for the elders every single day, um, a lot of them take in consideration that a gringo or a, a guy from the United States is coming into their country and they're not used to the food. So uh, a lot of those sisters, they do take that into consideration and they try to try to tailor it a little bit as much as they can to help the elder out. So that was one thing that I was very, very grateful for. Um, I mean, the Peru MTC really prepped me for a lot of that because they served us pretty much every Peruvian type dish they could dish out at us so that we'd be semi-ready. And they're never, if you were truly done, never, ever, ever finish your plate, ever. Okay, I don't know if this is standard in South America, but in Peru, if you have one bite let, left and you're done, do not take that last, last bite. Because if you take the last bite, they're thinking you're gonna want more. Automatically, they'll give you more. And if you're like, oh, sister, I'm done, they will be very offended. They'll be like, oh, you didn't like it? It's like, are you serious? I just finished this whole plate. I am stuffed to the brim. If I eat any more, I will throw up. But no, they will not take it that way. So just a little advice there. Okay. Uh, in Chincha, my favorite foods, uh, uh, I mean, I would say it's favorite food of all time, is uh, kata, katapukra with sopa seca. So it's essentially, mm, it's potatoes with a bunch of um, little vegetables in it, and it's kind of spicy with... Not exactly sure how to. Sopa seca is like dry, dry noodles, and uh, it, I don't know what it is, but it's from heaven. It's manna. That's essentially what it is. It's so good, um, but they really only serve it in Chincha. Uh, if you get a really cool sister, I don't know how she'll find it, but she'll find it somewhere in in Lima. And then uh, Milanesa, if uh, if you just want a safe safe food, Milanesa is the way to go. It's essentially fried chicken, but they take all the bones out and it's like a, just a piece of piece of meat, fried meat, and it's really good. Um, and one thing that you should try as you're going home, uh, not on the mission because it's against mission rules, as at least it was at the time, is um, ceviche. Um, it, it was okay for me, but a lot of people really like it. So I'd give it a shot. It's essentially, uh, for those of you who don't know what ceviche is, it's raw fish cooked in, cooked in uh, the lemon acid um, and chicharron. I could live in chicharron. There's chicharron de pescado, chicharron de, de pollo, and chicharron de um, puerco. Like, it's just, again, it's fried stuff. But it's really, really good. Uh, those would be my favorite. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. Gosh. Um, uh, there's this uh, thing called ricotto. Okay. It is not a tomato. Whatever, if you see anything that looks like a tomato, make sure it's a tomato. Because one of, uh, one of the sisters, she decided she didn't want to cook that day. So she took us out to a little tienda and, uh, and we got chicharron. And with chicharron, right in the middle, it's kind of like a big, huge plate. And right in the middle, there's um, rocoto to kind of help spice things up. And they slice it up, and it looks exactly like a tomato. Okay. So that day, I was just chowing down. I'm like, huh, I wonder what this would taste like with tomato. I'm like, anybody going to eat this slice of tomato? And everybody around me is like, no, we're not going to eat this slice of tomato. And I put the whole slice in my mouth. I took, I barely took a half a bite. Like, and you, I lost complete feeling in my entire face. Face, gone. I couldn't talk. It hurt so bad. It is the hottest thing you could ever eat in your entire life. So make sure it's a tomato or ricotto. Okay, just word of advice there. That's all. <laughs> and milk does not help at all.